up a little bit. Tell me about uh, schooling. You said whenever you, you spoke Spanish in school, you'd get punished, right? Yes. How many Mexican kids did you go to school with? Uh, there was uh, the, well, there was a lot of kids, a lot of Mexican kids, but okay. we couldn't, none of us could speak English, uh, Spanish. We had to speak oh. English. Okay. Um, and what was school like? Was there an overcrowding of classrooms? What kind of books? Uh, we had, I can remember all my teachers, and we had a real, we didn't have but maybe 20, maybe 24, 25 kids. Okay. And they tried to mix this mostly with whites. They put maybe four, well, it was just like, like the elite. I mean, these were the rich Mexicans. I see. The I see. rich Mexicans, they lived in a better neighborhood. They lived up here on Haiti, which is around this neighborhood. They lived on Haiti. This was all white neighborhood. So, but we lived on the other side of the tracks, and and that's that's where you, you if you lived on the other side of the tracks, you're poor, yeah. which was the Papalote. That was our neighborhood. So a lot of kids came from 17th Street, which was uh, the area where a little area full of houses, and then they tore, tore all of them down and put the projects. Okay. That's uh, when the projects come up over there. Well, anyway, there was a lot of Mexican kids that came. The, it was um, the, the Cantus, the Ramirez, that went to school with me. Uh, the Del Toro, Del Toro, they, they put the two Del Toros with me because they were from rich neighborhood. They were lived off of Tennessee on Haiti. Mm -hmm. And all these rich kids, would they would put those kids, they put maybe four or five Mexicans and the rest of them were all white. Oh, they try to mix us around like that. And that's how they, they did all the schools, oh. I mean, all the, the grades. Right. Mm -hmm. And so whenever you speak Spanish with one I another, couldn't, uh-huh, no. We were at, that, I, when I was caught, we had a round, real round fountain that fed, that was five, for maybe five or six kids could drink water out of that fountain. And we were at recess, and I was working, uh, I was talking to Elvira, she was my best friend, and she told me something in Spanish, and I answered her. And the patrol girl, Wanda Ball, was the patrol girl. And she said, oh, I caught you, Rosa. I caught you, Rosa. You were talking Spanish. You were you talking that Spanish. And she said, you're talking that Mexican. And I said, no, I wasn't. She said, yeah, yes, you were. You're going to see S. T. Willis. So she takes me to S. T. Willis. And he had a gold big cigar. He looked like a bulldog. And he said, OK. And my mother, we wear long dresses. We'd, we couldn't wear short dresses. We wore long dresses to school, and my mother in, in petticoats, and he made me pick up my clothes. He humiliated me in the worst way. He made me pick up all my clothes and just took my panties, and he just hit me five times. And when I got home, I, I couldn't sit down. I, it hurt to sit down, and my mother said, what's wrong? And I kept saying, I can't sit down. And I couldn't even sit down on the bed. And my mother said, let me see. And she picked up my clothes. And I told her, the principal hit me. And when my dad got home, she told him, my stepfather, he said, OK, we're, we're going to Wisconsin. We're moving to Wisconsin. But then my, my mother, my brother wouldn't go. My oldest brother, Manuel, he was here. And he was, he was already, already uh, old. And he said, I'm not moving to Wisconsin. So we had to come back, but she said, he said, we won't, we're not going to put her in school no more. She's not going to school no more. Mm -hmm. And I want them to come and tell me why she, and I'll tell them why she's not going to school. So nobody bothered about me not being going to school, so. Yeah. But he did teach me how to speak. He'd teach me how to read in Spanish okay. at home. He would get the prensa, uh -huh. and he would get those La Mantilla, those Mexican books, and he would show me all of that in Spanish. And boy, before you know it, I was reading and writing in Spanish. And he said, he always told my mother, this is a very smart, smart girl, and uh, we really need to give her, get her in school in, in Wisconsin, and we need to keep her over there in Wisconsin. And, and, and because over there, I went to, the last two weeks of the school that I went, there was a, a little German girl, there was uh, Hungarians, Italians, and everybody, and everybody spoke their language, and nobody said nothing. Mm -hmm. And there was two Mexicans from uh, Waslaco, Texas, they were going to the school too. And I was, re I was really happy because we spoke Spanish. The three of us talk, spoke Spanish, and we were all in the same classroom. But they didn't divide us or anything. They put us all, the, we were all for little farms, and they put us all in there. And I was happy with that. From West Laco, do you remember their names? No, I don't, but they were from West Laco, Texas. Oh, okay. yeah. They were in Wisconsin. Wow. 
They was in 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 Wapak in in Delavan, Wisconsin.